Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this throw here. It's beautiful. It's made with um, a type of granny chevron stitch here. It's not hard to do. It's actually quite easy to do. It's just mainly double crochets and then right here in the corners of the peaks there are double crochet three together. So if you're new and you do not know how to do that, I will show you how. But it, as long as you know the basic stitches this is double and single i'll show you the rest but it's turned out really really nice i love it a lot so the size of mine is approximately it's um 48 inches long or wide i guess and it's about 60 tall but you can make yours as um wide or as tall as you want because i'll give you the multiple so you can change the number of chains that you uh to make it the size mine has five peaks on it or yeah, I call them peaks and then there's your sides they're nice and straight there all right let's go ahead and get started on this it's so soft okay for this project I used uh Caron anniversary cakes now you do not have to use this yarn um you don't this is classified as a six weight yarn I find it to be more kind of like a five thicker five weight but doesn't matter you can use any weight of yarn that you want because i'm like i said i'll give you the multiple and you can adjust your chain accordingly but this is what i use it's a classified as super bulky number six the care on anniversary cakes um it's 100 percent acrylic now there are 1061 yards here and i used one whole cake in half of another so if you're going to follow along with me um about 1500 yards of a bulky six weight yarn and the color that i have here is called chocolate fountain but of course you can use any color that you'd like and then i'm going to be using a size n which is a 10 millimeter crochet hook and sometimes ends are nine millimeter either one of those will work if you're using the bulky six yarn now if you're going to be using like a four way i might recommend that you use a six millimeter and even if you wanted to do a lighter weight yarn like a three i'd probably recommend a five or a five and a half millimeter crochet hook for those okay so this type of chevrons stitch is done in a multiple of 22 plus one which means that your beginning chain whatever you start with needs to be evenly divisible by 22 and then you add one more at the end to your base chain so following along with me if you want to make it the size i did i chained 111 stitches so once you get your chain of 111 we'll go ahead and begin row one so what we're going to do is we're going to put a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook now remember we do not count the one that's on our hook so one two we're going to put a single crochet into that stitch and then we're going to work one single crochet in every stitch for the length of our chain Just like this so row one one single crochet in every stitch until you get to the end of the row okay so once you make it to the end of row one following along the, following along with me you should have 110 stitches now at the end of the row okay so now we're going to start row two row two we're going to chain three and turn our work so that chain three counts as a double double crochet here and for the rest of the pattern and we're going to start off by putting a double crochet three together not in this very very first stitch here because that's what the chain three is taking place to there but in this stitch right here so what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over go in to that stitch draw up a loop and yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook now we want to do that three times that was number one again yarn over go into the same stitch draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops again that's two times one more time we're going to yarn over go into the same stitch draw up a loop 
yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook. You now have four loops that remain. We're going to yarn over and go through all four loops, and then we're going to chain one. So that is a double crochet, three together. So we are going to skip two stitches. Skip, skip, and in the next stitch, we're going to work three double crochets all into the same stitch. There's one, two, and three. And then we're going to chain one. And we're going to skip two again. Skip, skip, and in the next stitch, we're going to work three double crochets again, all into the same stitch. There's one, two, and three. Chain one. And again, we're going to skip two stitches. Skip, skip, and in the next, we're going to work three double crochets all into the same stitch. Now we're going to make the point start making one of the peaks or the points of the chevron. So if you look back, you have three sets of three double crochet. This is your double crochet three together, so we don't count that. We have one, two, and this is the third one. On this third one, we're going to make the peak. So instead of chaining one, we're going to chain two this time. One, two, and we're going to go into the very next stitch. I'm not going to skip any stitches and work three more double crochets into that stitch. There's one, two, and three. All right, and then we're going to chain one, and we're going to skip two, skip, skip, and in the next stitch, three double crochets into the same stitch. One, two, and three chain one, skip two, skip, skip, and then next three double crochets into the same stitch. One, two, and three. And if you look now, you have again three, after this chain two, three sets, one, two, three, of three double crochets. So now we're going to make like the the valley or the dip of the chevron. So what we're going to do is we are going to chain one after this last set. We are going to skip two stitches. Skip, skip, and we're going to put a double crochet three together into the next stitch. So we get we skip our two, yarn over and go into the next, drop a loop, Yarn over it, go through the first two loops on our hook. We want to do that three times, so that was number one. Yarn over, go into the same stitch, drop a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two loops. One more time, yarn over, go into the same stitch, drop a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two loops. Four loops that remain. Yarn over and go through all four. Do not chain one. Hold it tight skip two, skip, skip, and in the next do another double crochet, three together. So skip these, yarn over, go into the next, and do a double crochet, three together. So one, yarn over, go into the same stitch again, yarn over, go through those two, that's two times, one more time, yarn over and go through, drop a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, four loops that remain, Yarn over and go through all four, and now you do a chain one. So as you can see now, this is what we're gonna repeat. So you got a point, and then you go down, and this is gonna be like your valley or your dip from your point. So we're gonna start by skipping two, skip, skip, and putting three double crochet into the next stitch. That. chain one 
skip two, three doubles into the next. Chain one, skip two, skip, skip, three doubles into the next. Row one is probably the, it's gonna be the hardest row, but it's not even hard, so. Now, if you look back, you got th three sets of three double crochets. We do not count these double crochet three together. So you got one, two, three. So this, this is where the point is going to start again on this one. So instead of chaining one, we're gonna chain two, and we're gonna go directly back into the next stitch and do three double crochets into that stitch. Now we're gonna repeat the pattern that we just did until we get to the last um, point. So again, after that last chain three, we chain one and we start again by skipping, you got your point there, skipping two, skip, skip, three doubles into the next. Chain one, skip two, skip, skip, three doubles into the next. And if you look, you have your three sets of three doubles there. After this chain two, one, two, three. So now we're gonna do the little valley again, which is the double crochet three together. So we're gonna chain one. We're going to skip two, skip, skip, and work three double, uh, double crochet three together into the next stitch. Yarn over, go through all four. Don't chain one, just hold it tight. Skip two, skip, skip, double crochet three together into the next. Go through all four and now we chain one and start again by skipping two skip skip three doubles into the next chain one skip two skip skip three doubles into the next Chain one, skip two, skip, skip, three doubles into the next. And you can see that we are where we need to make our point again. So we got three sets of three double crochet, not counting our little double crochet three together. One, two, three. So right here, instead of chaining one, we're gonna chain two. And into the next stitch, we work three double crochets into the same stitch. Now we're going to repeat this, and I'll meet back up with you when we get to the last point of the row. All right, so I'm at my last point here. So what I'm going to do now is um, after this, we do a point here, did our three double crochets. I'm going to chain one, skip two, skip, skip, three doubles into the next one two and three chain one skip two skip skip three doubles into the next there's one there's two and there's three chain one you should have four stitches that remain because you have your after this last point you'll have your three sets of three double crochets see that one two three you'll have four stitches that remain you want to remember chain one after this last set you want to skip two skip skip and into the next one we will work a double crochet three together Four 
four on your hook yarn over go through all four do not chain one yarn over and go directly into the last stitch and do a double crochet and that is how you end row one or row two i'm sorry and you should have five of the points if you're following along with me all right so now we're going to start row three row three is the repeat row so it's just a one row repeat it's actually quite easy once you get to move along it's going to work up rather quickly so row three is a repeat row so i'm going to chain three one two three and turn my work now i'm going to start off right here in this chain one space and i'm going to work a double crochet three together that's how we always start we chain three we skip this double crochet three together and in this chain one space we work another double crochet three together and chain one now we're going to work a uh, three double crochets into the next chain one space so three doubles all into that next chain one space chain one three doubles into the next chain one space chain one and now we're at the the point or the peak of the chevron the chain two space and what we're always going to work into the chain two space is three double crochets chain of two and then three more double crochets back into the same spot one two and three and then we're going to chain one now we're going to work three double crochets into the next three double crochets right here into this chain one space that and we're going to chain one and we're going to work three double crochets into the next chain one space and we're going to chain one and now we're going to work the valley the little dip there of our chevron and you can see that the next chain one space is right next to these double crochet three togethers so i chained one after that last set of three and into this chain one space i'm going to work a double crochet three together yarn over and go through the all four do not chain one just kind of pull it tight and hold it jump skip these two double crochet to three three together so jump all the way over into this chain space over here in between this double crochet three together and this set of three and work another double crochet three together so this part you kind of just kind of got to pull it kind of tight that way it stays don't get too loose yarn over go through all four and now we chain one there we go and that makes the dip and then we just keep repeating this so we chained one so now we're going to jump to our next chain three space and work three double crochets and we're going to repeat this pattern until we get to the last point chain one three double crochets into this next chain one space
chain one and now we're at a chain two space which is the point of our chevron so we work our three doubles a chain of two and three more doubles And that makes our point and then we chain one after that and we're going to repeat again so we're going to do three double crochets into the next chain one space chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space And now we're down here to the valley. Here's our two double crochet three togethers. So chain one after this last set of three double crochets. And we're going to go into this space between this double crochet three together and this set of three double crochets. And we're going to do a double crochet three together. So go right through there. Four loops on your hook yarn over and go through all four do not chain one but just kind of pull it tight jump all the way over these two double crochet three togethers into this chain one space here and do another double crochet three together yarn over go through all four and now we chain one like that and in the next chain one space, we work three double crochets. Chain one, the next chain one space, three double crochets. chain one and the next spot is a point it's the chain two space so we go in and we work three doubles chain two and three more doubles so we're going to repeat this pattern until you get to the last point of your work all right when you make it to the end and you're at the last point of your work just did three double you just did the three doubles chain two three doubles and you don't have any points left see that make sure you chain one after this last set of three and we're going to put three double crochets into the next chain one space chain one three doubles into the next chain one space chain one and this is how we end every row we have one chain one space left you can see it's right here in between these three double crochets and this double crochet three together so what we're going to do is remember we chained one after this set of three we're going to go into this space and work a double crochet three together yarn over go through all four do not chain one on this one we just yarn over and directly go into the top of the last chain three space and work a double crochet and that is how we end every row and that's going to keep our row straight and that's it we're just going to keep repeating row three back and forth back and forth until you get your piece as tall as you want it to be like i said 
uh, I got one about 60 inches, but of course, depending on what yarn you use or what size of blanket you're making, you just repeat row three, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and look how beautiful it looks. I did not color control this project. If anybody would like to know that, it, I just took it from the cake as it went, but this would look beautiful in any striped yarn, any solid yarn, any weight of yarn, any most typed of yarn I think it's just a very versatile versatile stitch that would work great for um, not even a blanket just lots of stuff but the throw turned out nice I really enjoyed working with the yarn I think the colors are beautiful so I hope you enjoyed my tutorial I hope you were able to follow along okay if you make this or anything else uh, yarn related I'd love to see a picture you can follow me on bag of day at Instagram and hashtag me at Bag of Day Crochet. Show me what you're working on. Don't forget to check out my vlog channel. I'll put a link to that below in the description box. And don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, hit those notifications so you don't miss out. All right. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a good day, okay? Bye guys.